that's a Reiki 2, a Reiki 2nd degree or Reiki level 2 you might have heard it mentioned as. This is the second course and the second part that you may take on your Reiki journey. Once you've completed your Reiki 1, you will have completed your self-healing, you will have cleansed your body on an emotional, physical, spiritual and mental level. And what Reiki does is with each level, it gives you the amount of energy that you can cope with, that you can work with and that can flow through you. So after you've received your Reiki 1 attunement, you might then, after a few months, want to go on to your Reiki 2. And with the Reiki 2, you receive another attunement, which then gives you a little bit more energy. It heightens the amount of energy that you can work on other people and work on yourself. So it just raises the bar a little bit. Again, after the Reiki attunement, you will go through another cleanse, you will go through another clearing out of the body so that you can allow more energy to come through you before you work on others. So you receive the other attunement and the other difference between Reiki 1 and Reiki 2 is that you will receive um, your new symbols that you will work with Reiki 2. So with this level, there's three symbols that you will be given. There's the power symbol, which is called the Shoku Rei. You've then got the mental emotional symbol, which is the Sihi Ki. And then you've got the bigger one, which is the distance symbol called the Honsha Zisho Nen. So all three symbols can be used in different ways. They can be used individually or they can be used all together. So the power symbol works more on a physical level. So it's more about giving a boost to you, giving extra power to anything that you might want to work with. Um, the mental emotional symbol works more on what we call the emotional level. So then the mental level. So if you've got people that might be a little bit unsettled, a little bit uncertain, this is a really good symbol to work with. And then you've got the distance symbol. Well, the distance symbol enables you to work with Reiki in a different way to how you would normally be working. It gives you the ability and the knowledge to be able to send Reiki. So as well as being able to physically work on people yourself, you will now be able to send Reiki to people who won't be with you. So it could be sent to somebody in the next room. If you've got an animal who you've try to give Reiki to and they just won't sit still and, and aren't close enough to you at the time, even if they're in the same room, you could actually send Reiki to them. You just use the Honsha Zisho Nen, the distance symbol, to be able to do that. You also have the ability to send it all the way to the other side of the world. So if there's somebody who you know is suffering, is having difficulties, either on a physical or an emotional level, you can maybe arrange a time that you can actually do a session on them. Maybe they can't physically get to you, but you can arrange to give them Reiki using the symbol, which is a wonderful thing to do. And it's a really good experiment to work with others in this way because it actually surprises you at how powerful it can be sending it distantly. So once you've received that, you can send it to one person, you can send it to many people, you can create are your own healing book so that you can regularly send to those that are in the healing book as and when they need to. So once you've received this attunement it opens up new pathways of how you can work with the Reiki. So as well as being able to send it to people in different places as well as being able to work with the symbols on the individuals when clients or possibly family and friends receive Reiki from you you can now send Reiki to situations, to possibilities of things that you might want to happen. So if there's something in the future that you want to go calmly and go well, maybe a holiday, maybe you've got a family member having a driving test or going through an exam or a job interview or something like that, 
You can actually use Reiki now to send to these situations. So you would just write everything down and then sit and send Reiki quietly to that time. So you could then use things in a different way. So Reiki 2 is again more about developing you further along that path, opening you up more to the energies that you want to work with, but also giving you the possibilities of sending Reiki to more people, more situations, so that you create more love for the world around you.